Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Uh, in this one, I'm going to start a new series of AZ 104 uh, videos where all of the videos I have done earlier, but they have since updated and new versions are available. So if you were watching or if you have watched the older series of my videos for AZ 104, they will be somewhat similar, but these are going to be more up to date and i'm doing these videos in the beginning of october the last series i did it was almost nine months back so let's get started so we have uh, about 11 modules and these are all available on github from the microsoft's learning uh, github uh, repository i want to start with module 01 which is the manage azure active directory identities so click click on this one so it clearly lists the lab details that you need to do in this one we have four different tasks the first task is to create and configure the azure ad users so let's just come over here so we're going to follow and do this particular task in this particular video so we'll do we'll sign into the azure portal on the right hand side i'm already signed in to my portal in the azure portal search for the azure active directory so what you need to do come over here and do active directory azure active directory showed up in this one what you need to do uh, on the active directory scroll down to the manage section so you see the manage section right here click on the user settings so in this one so if you keep going there should be a user setting at the very bottom or close to the bottom and click that one and this one and review the available configuration options if you see over here enterprise application you have app registration application whether users can register applications or not here is already by default says yes then administration portal restrict access to azure ad administration portal that is uh, by default uh, we are not restricting any access linkedin account restrictions allow users to connect their work or school account with linkedin data sharing between microsoft and linkedin is not enabled until users consent to connect to the microsoft work or school account with the linkedin account so right now by default this is a, this is like turned on and there are some other settings for external users and user features that you can <coughs> also configure <coughs> excuse me so let's come back to the lab on this step on the Azure Active Directory plate in the manage section click on users so here we kind of looked at the profile we are not changing any default so let's go back to the users that's what they have asked us to do user section and then click on your user account to this uh, to display its profile setting so that's the user account that I have that's the only account I have so I'm gonna click on that one so it is going to display the profile setting and why how do you know it's it's showing the profile setting if you come back over here uh, look at this one it says it's a profile setting right now click on edit in the settings so here is the edit button right there and what you need to do we need to update the usage location and we need to uh, put the united states so let's find your usage location so job info setting usage location for me i have already got it as united states that is that is uh good i don't have to do anything now if this is very very important okay this is the note that you have this is necessary in order to assign azure ad premium p2 license to your user account under this lab so if you are using the premium p2 this is location based and you have to assign <coughs> a user location uh for the PIM to work properly. So make sure the user usage location you have here, it's working properly. Now navigate to the users, all users. So in this one, I really don't need to change anything. If nothing is configured here for you, just search for United States and then configure it. And since I'm not changing anything, I don't have the save button enabled. So I can just go to the navigate back to the user, all users. So let's just go back to the active directory then uh, let's see where do we go go back to users then all users so users if you click on users on the left hand side i have the all users this is still under a preview okay so in this one let's just click on that one and this one we're going to create a new user 
so click on new user as per the lab and next what you need to do create a new user with the following setting so the username we're gonna call it uh, exactly the way the lab is saying and name <laughs> is exactly the same as lab is saying let me create the password so over here let me create the password so you're gonna create the password and the password is going to be this for this particular user <coughs> As a matter of fact, I'm actually going to change it to change it by a little bit, okay? And I recommend that you use your own password. And then uh, usage location. Let's see for usage location. Just make sure to use United States. So let's get that one. So we got that one. Uh, for the job title, let's make him a cloud administrator. So job title is going to be the cloud administrator. Department is going to be IT. And uh, here is saying click copy to clipboard the full user principle. So before you do anything, you see this copy to clipboard. You can clip and that will take the whole username which you are going to use in other parts of the lab. So you open up a notepad and then just save that username for future use and if you look at this this is the user name and this is the rest of the domain uh, and that you have got so far so we are done with uh, step 7 step 8 on the list of users click the newly created user account to display space so we have actually not done completely so another thing notice that we have not uh, placed the user in any group okay by default the user will gonna get the user role and right now I have to create uh, to create the user and we have not assigned any manager for the user and that is okay so hit create so now it says this user got created properly so here on step 8 what we will do we are going to click on the newly created user account so that is the user account to show displays blade and when we talk about blade we're really talking about all the things that you're seeing right now now review the options available in the manage section so again manage you have profile assigned roles okay now, right now there are no rules assigned uh administrative unit we have not used it yet is it part of any groups no he is not we have not assigned uh, applications that he created no licenses no nothing available at the moment uh, devices from which he has joined no uh, as your role assignments and then uh, he can be part of this as your uh, passive uh, sponsorship and then authentication method uh, if you want to provide like if he maybe you need a multi-factor authentication you can give additional information like phone number alternate phone number and uh, alternate email uh, you can also provide you can also look at the sign-in logs over here how many times he signed in he has not an audit log for any activities he has performed so all a lot of different things are available in here so that's what we have just looked at uh, as per the step nine okay so here they're saying note that you can identify the Azure AD role assigned to the user account as well as the user accounts permission to Azure resources so yeah so if you go to assign role right now there is nothing and uh, uh, as as your role assignments uh, there is also right now there is nothing now staying on the manage section click assign role which we just did and then now let's assign a new role and make the user a user administrator so here to assign a role you just click on assign roles and we're going to assign the user administrator role so just find for user and it showed up at the bottom i can just select that one and click on add and now it says successfully added the assignment right there so we should have that role assigned to the user now so you may want to refresh this one and it might take just a little bit of time for the role to show up okay so here is also a note you also have the option to assigning az roles when provisioning a user and we have not done that okay we could have done that but we have not so i'm just gonna do the uh, refresh button a couple times go back to my profile and then again uh, 
assign roles it still didn't show up so again it as i said it takes just a little bit of time and, and sometimes you may even have to log out and log back in uh, but this user i think it should show up so let's see over here you don't have anything assign roles now you got got the user administrator role okay so as, as i said just don't get frustrated okay so if it takes just a little bit of time so so what it did it added the role and it says it, it it's got a description it can manage all aspects of users and groups and it's power resource group is the directory uh, resource type is organization assignment type is a direct assignment it's a built-in role it's not a custom role uh, the next thing that we need to do open a in private browser and go to the azure portal so let's open another in private browser and what i'll do we'll go to portal.azure.com and if we go there let's see if this one is picking up yeah it is picking up so what i'll try to do let's get read of this one i'm just going to use another browser and uh, incognito window so let's see if i can place that right over here okay so what we'll do next from here let's try to go to portal.azure.com and when i'm there okay what we'll do we'll use the newly created user account we are going to provide the password okay so newsly uh, user username is right there i'm going to copy it here put it down there and then hit next and i'm going to provide the password that i have used and with that i can hit sign in and now it's saying hey update your password so let's put the password and now i need a new password then another time you put the password Okay, let's see this move it up just a little so i provide the password then click sign in and you should be able to sign in as that particular user now and so on step 12 in the in private browser window in the azure portal search and select for active directory so before we go there here what we are saying here uh, as you are saying help us protect your account uh, you can uh, uh, you can set up really a, a better way to protect your account and right now we are gonna not going to do anything in this screen what you what i would like you to do is skip for the 14 days until this additional protection is required just click that one for now okay so that should let you log in and sign in i just say no but just log in let me log in so now we are log in so what happened that in here if you look notice right right there so in this window i'm logged in as this user that we just got that we created and in this window i'm still logging as the administrative user okay so let's come back so we are done with this uh so in the in private browser window search and select azure active directory so over here as that user as this particular user okay who is logged into this browser i'm going to look for active directory azure active directory so click on that one uh, while this user account can access the azure active directory tenant it does not have any access to the azure resources okay and that is also an important thing to know that right now we created a user we have given the user as a, a, a user access admin but we have not provided any access for the subscription meaning the user can really not be able to access the resource not be able to create any vm any storage account nothing like that okay this is very important for you to understand okay so 
what we want to do here in this one we can scroll down to the manage section again and user setting so again manage section is this user setting was down there so you click on that one and note that you do not have permissions to modify any configuration option so over here what you see that these configuration options they're all grayed out for for this particular user right so if i again go back this is the admin user if i go back to active directory and then go down to the user setting and if you look at it this these buttons they are not grayed out i can change it if i want but as the other user this user all these buttons are grayed out okay this guy he does not have any permission to modify any of the configuration options in the in private browser window on the azure ad blade in the manage section click on users and new user but this guy he is a, a user access admin so let's see that if he can create a new user so go back to the default directory or okay, just go back to the active directory then users and then new user okay so that's what we just did and let's see if we can create another user so let's just use that username that username and uh, password no that's first name is here so that is the past name uh, we actually don't need the first name sorry so here let me create the password and i'm just gonna use this password that i have so let's just put this one in here and uh, usage location again i'm going to make it the united states okay and then uh, this time this guy we want to make him a system administrator so a system administrator and department is still going to be it and actually hold on uh I think we got uh, what we needed right now it now sign out so what we'll do we'll create this user now okay we are going to create the user uh, let's make sure that uh, we have not again have not used any groups uh, only the name is provided uh, then create uh oh it's unable to create user uh, what is the problem here Let's come back over here so this is good oh first name i need something do i let's put it in here let's do create and now i am able to create that particular user okay so that ends the task one um of of this particular uh, particular lab so here uh, create and configure as your ad user that's exactly what we have accomplished uh, with the admin we created a new user provided that user as a user administrator make that guy as a user administrator and now as an admin i don't have to create new user i can tell the user administrator to 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 manage any new user account creation and that's exactly what this user has done it has created a new user which is add user 2 and we are end of our lab task 1 and that is right right here so we are done up with this one so let's meet in the next video where we're going to start working on the task 2 where we're going to create the azure ad groups with assigned and dynamic memberships thank you